What's up guys? It's Rantium here and today we are back in Skyrim. Uh, that's right you guys and don't snap. This is gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys welcome back and happy Saturday and happy showcase day. So today uh, we're actually no longer in Skyrim more so are we actually in Solstheim taking a look at the Solstheim Villa. Now the Solstheim Villa is a lovely little home here located actually right outside Raven Rock. So it's very close to the place where you can then fast travel back to Skyrim, although you can always just use the arrow. So Solstheim Villa, located right here, right next to Raven Rock, very easy to find, and it actually pops up on the map before you even, or after you download the mod itself. Now, this home is indeed free, so why don't we go ahead and break it down in typical Rantium fashion, shall we? So not only is this house a very small taste of Whiterun in Solstheim, um, it's also got a fantastic view of the ocean. Just look at that. I just love the way it looks. I love the surrounding area. And Solstheim itself, to me, isn't really the most beautiful thing ever. So having a little bit of a touch of Skyrim there is a nice touch. Now it looks like we have a couple little pets out front. We have a Dwarven Sphere and a Dwarven Little Spitter. Not exactly sure what their function is because I haven't been able to find that out. But still, nonetheless, kind of cool to see. Tiny little Jupiter Bonsai Tree right there. Or Juniper Bonsai Tree. But then we come on over to, uh, I believe this is an Elder Gleam tree, and we can actually pop on over to our outdoor smithing section. Now obviously, no home is complete without having a smithing area. And just look at this, you kind of come on up here, got yourself a working grindstone, a tanning rack, smelter, and a forge, as well as the workbench. And the music, ugh, the Solstheim music, the Morrowind music, it's just so good. It's such a nice mix, I love it so, so much. So, outdoor smelting and, and crafting area out here. Got ourselves a wood chopping block. And it does indeed function, which is always nice. And then it looks like out here we have a tiny little gazebo. Now, if you've watched me for any period of time, you know I love these little outdoor seating areas and the gazebos and the pergolas and everything like that. It's a beautiful little place out here. And it looks like there's actually a side door to get into the house from there. But we're actually going to enter in from the front, as you should with any home. So, I welcome you home. To the Solstheim Villa. And here we are, inside of your Touch of White Run in Solstheim. Now I immediately saw this when I first loaded up the, the house itself. All I saw was the front entrance, because I wanted to make sure that the loading uh, the, the loading screen actually went through, and I saw this sliding door, and I love sliding doors. Ooh! Look at this kitchen. It's a kitchen, it's a dining room, it's a beautiful space. Not to mention it's behind a sliding door. How damn cool is that? Looks like we got some cheese wheels over here. Got some uh, places where you can store some cutlery. Maybe some table or some tables. Some plates. Some goblets. Some cast iron pots. Some forks and all that good stuff. It comes with a whole freaking arsenal of that stuff. Search barrel food. <laughs> wow, holy carrots. That's pretty good. Can kind of dig it. What do we have right here? Activate button. Ooh, it turned the lights on. Oh, and I love all the static decor right here. So it's funny, only the sweet rolls can actually be knocked off. <laughs> all the other plates and cutlery and everything like that can't be knocked off, which is nice. <gasps> Look at this cool little bar and food prep area over here. Large hearth over here. Really, really pretty. Got ourselves the hearth fire oven right there to prep all of your pastries and baking treats and stuff. Got some some jars of honey. Got some... Wait, is that, does that say it's a chest? Oh, wow! Comes with a lot of good stuff in there. Harvest a salmon right there. And I do like this big marble sink right here. I think it kind of clashes a little bit um, when you get too close to it. But at the same time, I, I, I respect the, uh, the the wanting to have a different texture there. Look at that. Got herself wash our hands. All diseases cured. Other blessings removed. And the blessing of Debella. So we can go ahead and turn that off. That way it doesn't take too much. Got ourselves a grill. Okay, now that's kind of cool. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. Are you kidding me? There's like custom recipes and stuff. Now that's kind of nifty. And then we have ourselves our cooking pot, the vanilla cooking pot, with a whole bunch of stuff over here. Beautiful kitchen. I love this area over here. And then when we're done inside of here, make sure to save energy. You turn the lights off. And you close your sliding door. Very cool. <laughs> oh, hello. I didn't see when you came in here. Okay, so this actually acts as a chest. And we have a boots chest right there. 
Very cool. Now what do we have over here? I like the circular windows right there. This looks to be maybe uh, the alchemy lab slash enchanting room area. Big hearth right there. Kind of chill out a little bit. Got ourselves another button. That looks like it turned the light on and off. Yes, that looks like it does that. Arcane Enchanter right there with an alchemy lab that actually is invisible, which is unfortunate. Although I suppose you don't necessarily need the alchemy lab itself. You just need a place with a, porter, a mortar and pestle, which you tend to pull out of your ass anyway. So, you know, I guess anywhere can be an alchemy lab if you think hard enough. So we have the Solstheim Staff Enchanter out here. And I gotta say, I'm a bit disappointed. This room is very plain compared to the kitchen that we were just in. And this feels like it might be a follower's room and or, you know, like a guest room. Because there's quite a few beds in here, but it's very plain, very kind of almost boring, I would say. In here, there's nothing on the walls, there's nothing on the tables. There's really nothing on anything else like that. Looks like we got some hot sake. I was going to say something. This house feels very almost um, Asian-inspired, especially with the sliding doors and the open windows and everything like that. I think I get a, a big feeling like that, and I can kind of dig it. Um, but the, it looks like the hot sake fell all the way through there, so we're just going to go ahead and take that. Also, anybody else seeing how much that's worth? 2,750 gold each? Dang, okay. That's, uh, that's some pretty good alcohol. God dang. So let's take a look. Is there anything else on this level? Yes, indeed. Oh, wait, here we go. There's a button right here that I missed. So this looks like it turns the lights on there. Oh, and there's a trap door right there. Solstheim Villa Basement. Okay. Well, let's see. There's another sliding door right here. Oh, that leads into there. Okay, wait. I just got turned around real fast. This is the front entrance. We, we've already seen that part. In fact, let's go ahead and keep that open so I know that that's there. But let's continue through this way. There's another sliding door right here. Oh! Ooh. Ooh! What do we have here? Are these bath bombs? Soap cure disease? Activate wash your body. Blessing of Mara added. And I got shampoo. That's a big-ass shampoo thing. Hot diggity damn. And we have bath cloths. No, they don't actually do that much. It's I'm in god mode. They only have... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, what? Okay, wait a second. No, we need to, we need to put this on. Bath cloth. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So that has an armor rating of 322. But I'm basically naked. Activate pole chain. That turns the water feature on. Oh, look at this. You can just come on into your lovely little bath. Oh, I'm not a big fan of that thing, watching me bathe, but you know, to each their own. Fresh lavender right there. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this. And I do... Sit cross-legged? Oh, hell yeah. Look at me. I'm amazing. Oh, and you can get all your diseases cured by sitting in here, too. Cool! I do like how the soap looks like bath bombs or like pearls. That's pretty funny. But let's go ahead and turn the water off. Conserve energy. And we'll leave that door open. Now, which way did we come from? This way, I believe. Yes, okay. So we have a door that goes over this way, it looks like. Oh, it's a pooper! We got ourselves a freaking marble pooper! Let's go ahead and close the door. Sit down on the toilet. Looks like you poop into a black hole. Can I look down through my... No, I cannot. Okay. All diseases cured from pooping. That's great. It's a nice, refreshing toilet. And then... Flush it. Uh, oh, it's a bidet. Wonderful. Okay, so if you need to just have, you know, a little bit of cleanliness, that's totally fine. It'll uh, Okay, but that one actually comes out. So be careful how deep you sit, or else you might find a bidet somewhere where it's not really supposed to be. Got a mouthwash, mint taste, toothpaste. Brushing your teeth. <laughs> and you get the blessing of Zenithar for that. We've got uh, hand wash, gargle, and face wash. Wonderful. Go ahead and turn the water off. Body lotion, electrical, body lotion, cold. What is all of this? Holy crap. Okay. You must have a weapon drawn to take that. Okay, that's that's totally fine. I love all the custom things that are within this house. That's so cool. Okay, so the bathroom, that's like one of the best bathrooms I've seen in any house that I've showcased. And I've showcased a lot of homes. Now, this looks to be maybe the master bedroom. Look at this. There's a, You even get a chair inside of your bed. What homes do you see come with a chair 
inside of your bed where you have to sleep around the chair. That's kind of nice. I assume that's a glitch. I would hope so. Got ourselves a chest right here. Got some weapon storage with uh, weapons inside of it. My god. I assume the same thing for this one too? No, okay, nothing in there. But look at this. I can dig it. And then got some more body lotions. Gotta have wine by the bed because who, who doesn't sleep with wine next to their bed? I'll tell you, plebs. Plebs don't sleep with wine next to their bed. And then looks like we have some more boot storage around here. Lots of emphasis on boots. Now, I imagine this door actually leads out into the side where the forge area is at. But there was an upper floor. If we move back through this area and we come on up here, what do we have up here? Got some armor mannequins up here. A couple little bookshelves for the bookworms of Skyrim. Activate pull chain. Uh, that turns on and off that thing, I think. Uh, yes, I believe that that's exactly what that does. Puts a light up there. Cool. And then what else do we have up here? Oh, it's a magical room. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. This is kind of like a display room. Slash cut. What is that? What? Prangenal B. What exactly does that do? Restores 250 points of health, restores 150 points of stamina, carrying capacity increased by 250 points for 180 seconds. Holy hot damn, that's a pretty good one. You could also call this the master bedroom, I suppose. Wow, there's an even upper, upper floor up there. Holy crap. And there's all sorts of little hidden pole chains, so keep your eyes open. If I miss something, that's why. We do indeed have a functional weapon rack. Weapon rack? Well, I like these custom vases, these little jars right here. That's super pretty. Nice little seating area right here. Kind of creepy having these things glowing in front of your bed. I feel like they're radiating something. And then got a wardrobe right there. And then a little bit of storage over here. But let's take a look at what the upper, upper floor looks like. I like all the maps, too. That's super pretty. Looks like we have the standing stones. Uh, and a lovely coffin, in case you're a vampire and want to sleep there. This is where you can do your worshipping. Oh yeah, you can lay down on that. That's super cool. So you've got all of the standing stones. I'm really shocked that it comes with all the standing stones. But it actually also comes with all of the shrines, too. Look at that. Shrine of Nocturnal. Hell yeah, dude. Cool. So yeah, that that's kind of nice to have these, this feature up here. Being able to have that right there. Very, very cool. And then last but not least, I suppose we can go and take a look at what the basement looks like. And like I said, if I miss something, it's because there's so many little hidden buttons and there's a giant mannequin right here. But it doesn't look like there's any other buttons around here. Let's go and hop on down here. What do we have right here? Got a jar with a whole bunch of stuff in there. I love the music that's playing. I know you probably can't hear it because you can probably only hear me, but still, it's beautiful music. Let's go ahead and save just in case. Okay, this is a very, very boring room. This is a guest bedroom with their own coffin in case, you know, your your friend is a vampire. But this is literally just kind of a, a guest bedroom, honestly. Put them in the basement, shut them down there, and, uh, and yeah, just basically throw people down there. It's totally fine. So I'm curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are down there in the comment section. Did you like this house? Did you hate this house? Would you use this home in your next playthrough and or would you use this home in your current playthrough? I'm very curious to hear what your thoughts are about it. But until next time, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.